Hello and thank you for tuning into the video tutorial series. Today we're going to show you how to install Tight VNC on a Ubuntu remote desktop connection. Uh, we're going to start off today by picking a VPS package from carrotnetworks.com. Um, we're going to use their plus package. Um, you need at least half a gig of memory in order to do a proper VNC connection to a server. Um, so I've gone ahead and ordered that um, and already received my welcome information. So we're going to go right into the tutorials uh, now. Step one, uh, you're going to want to uh, SSH into your uh, new configuration from Carrot Networks um, and make sure that your packages are up to date using apt-get update. Um, these commands are only accessible through uh, root, so make sure you're logged in as root. Otherwise, you're going to want to include uh, the sudo in front of it to make sure that you're sudoing as root while running these commands and go ahead and hit enter. So as you can see the machine is uh, updating the packages uh, making sure we have everything up to date. Uh, another prerequisite to uh, following this tutorial is using uh, nano to do your as a text editor. We find it uh, very easy to use for beginners. Um, so go ahead and sudo app get your uh, nano. So we've just installed uh, Nano Editor. Uh, the next step is to install the Ubuntu desktop. So you could do this by typing sudo app-get install ubuntu-desktop. Uh, this process takes approximately two to three minutes. It's quite a long process, so we're just going to fast forward the video here. The next step, you're going to want to select select USA as your country of origin for the keyboard layout if you're located in North America. Click OK and allow the package to complete its installation process.
Okay, now once the uh, Ubuntu desktop is installed, you're going to want to make sure that uh, GNOME is installed. So you can type sudo apt-get install gdm. As you can see, it's already installed and is set to the newest version. So the next step is to make sure it's running by typing sudo etc. init.d gdm start. As you can see, I've started GNOME. Uh, the next code, uh, next piece of code you have to type in is sudo bpkg dash reconfigure x server dash x org. Once that's been uh, completed, we're going to go ahead and install the tight VNC server by typing sudo apt get install tight VNC server. As you can see, Ubuntu is finding all the necessary packages for this and installing it. Uh, the next step is to, uh, to start up your VNC server with the command VNC server colon one dash geometry 1024 by 768 depth 16 and pixel format RGB 565. Um, when you run it for the when you run your VNC server for the first time, you'll be required to enter a, a password in order to access the desktop. So go ahead and configure any password you you wish to have for this. Um, it'll ask you whether or not you would like a, a view-only password. In this circumstance, I'm going to say no because we don't require that. Okay, so now we've configured and ran the VNC server. However, um, we just need to make one change to the startup configuration. So we're going to uh, kill the VNC server immediately. Okay, so I've killed the process. The next step, we're going to sudo nano the um, configuration and that's located in your uh, tilde slash dot vnc folder and it's called uh, x startup the bottom of this file you're going to add a command line uh, called gnome session and the and symbol the next step is to do a sudo reboot to restart your, your, your machine. Give it a moment to restart. Now, to, now that the machine has uh, started, we can log back in with root and uh, run our VNC server again, once again using the VNC server colon one dash geometry 1024 by 768 dash depth 16 dash pixel format RGB 565. Now once that's been uh, set to run, you'll need to navigate your web browser to tightvnc.com and click on download now and download a copy of their VNC Java viewer uh, version 2.6 in this case. This takes uh, just a moment to download. So after downloading the application utility, you're going to execute the typevnc-jviewer.jar file, enter the IP address of your VPS and the port number, and click Connect. Once this um, uh, authentication window pops up, you're going to enter the password in which you specified during the configuration to remotely access the desktop. And as you can see, we've successfully navigated to our Ubuntu machine. Uh, located on the on the VPS that we've configured. Um, please stay tuned to uh, further uh, video tutorials from uh, the number one server guy. Um, if you need uh, assistance or any questions or comments, make sure to toss in your notes, like the video, and let your friends know about our channel. Take care.